Pilot's death came during Jordanian King Abdullah's visit here in Washington. That trip is being cut short. A short time ago, the king met with U.S. President Barack Obama after he made a televised statement condemning the killing. CCTV's Nathan King has more. Shortly after his meeting with U.S. senators in Washington, Jordan's King Abdullah announced he was cutting short his trip to fly back to Amman. He has declared three days of official mourning for the murdered pilot. Shortly before leaving, King Abdullah went to the White House to show solidarity with U.S. President Obama in the fight against ISIL. Earlier, King Abdullah addressed the Jordanian people in a speech carried live on state television. We received the news with deep sorrow and anger, the death of the martyred pilot and hero, Muad al Kasasba, killed by ISIL, the cowards and terrorists, a bunch of criminals that have nothing to do with Islam. Muad died defending his country, his religion, and his nation. We stand today with the family of the hero, Muad, and with our people and also our armed forces in this loss. At the White House, the U.S. president also condemned the killing. Should, in fact, this video be authentic, it's just one more indication of the viciousness and uh, barbarity of this organization. And uh, it, I think, will redouble the vigilance and determination on the part of a global coalition uh, to make sure that they are degraded and ultimately defeated. Jordan is vowing revenge for the barbaric murder of the hostage, but the crisis has led to criticism in Jordan of Amman's participation in the global coalition against ISIL. <laughs> Last week, the father of the pilot made an emotional appeal. He called the ISIL militants holding his son brothers and fellow believers and pleaded to treat his son well. Jordan is one of five Arab countries supporting the U.S.-led bombing raids over Syria. The U.S. military has said it will fight together with the coalition until ISIL is defeated. But the barbaric video, which runs 22 minutes long, seems in part designed to drive a wedge between the U.S. and its Arab coalition partners. It directly links the death of the pilot with the death of civilians following coalition bombing raids. Governments may vow to toughen their fight against ISIL, but the effect on public opinion in the Middle East may be different. Nathan King, CCTV, Washington.